Hello friends, this is an L293D motor controller shield which I made for the MSP430 launchpad development board. This contains an L293D chip which you can see right here as well as two terminal block connectors. One is labeled as motor underscore R and the other one is called as the motor underscore L and which are used for connecting the two DC motors. The L293D contains four half H bridge motor drivers which you can uh, combine together to form two complete H bridge drivers which can be used for controlling two DC brushed motors. These two LEDs will indicate the uh, logic levels at 1A, 2A, 3A and 4A, uh, 4A logic pins of the L293D chip. Now the power is provided through this screw terminal which is labeled as P2. Now you can provide 12 volt power supply to the uh, to the uh, to connector P2. Now there are voltage regulators under this board right here which can uh, convert the voltage from 12 volt to 5 volt as well as the 3 volt. The 5 volt is used for providing to the logic uh, providing to the logic section of the L293D chip and as well as for the MAX485 chip which you can see here. Now the 12 volt I mean whatever voltage you are providing at here is directly given to for driving the motor that means that your motor will be provided with 12 volt power if you're giving 12 volt here now while you are connecting the power supply to the board make sure that you pro you pro use the correct polarity plus to plus and negative to negative otherwise the power supply section will get damage these two LEDs which are labeled as 5 volt and 3 volt will indicate that the power supply that the 5 volt is producing and 3 volt is available and this chamber can be used for isolating the board. Now I will mount the board on top of the MSP430G2553 launchpad. Okay. Now this is the launchpad board which I was talking about. It's the uh, 2x1. That means it contains the 2553 chip which you can right see. The 20 pin version. Now you can plug this thing over the board like this. Make sure that the P4 section is right above the USB port like this. This is what I said. This above this one. Okay. Now after connecting this, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell that there is also a MAX485 chip right here and the, what you can see, the RS485 connector. Uh, this is kept here because if you want to control the motor remotely through an RS485 uh, link, then you can do that one. Okay, now providing the power supply. You have to use a 12 volt power supply DC. I am using, taking the power from a DC adapter. Now let me connect this thing. As I have already told, already told you, polarity should be observed correctly. And the power terminal is called P2, while the other one is RS485. So don't mistake that one. Now on providing power supply, you can see that the 5 volt LED is glowing right here. This is the 5 volt one and the 3 volt is also glowing which means that power is available for the 5 volt section of the board which is the L293D and the MAX485 chip. Now the 3 volt power supply which is, um, which is created by the voltage regulator is provided to the board also which is the uh, to the launchpad board also. You can see that LED glowing here. Okay. Now in that web tutorial which I have written, I have made the code such that it, it is going to control the motor underscore L. So you will connect the board directly to the PC so that you can program it.
Now the Now to control the motor I have scavenged an old motor from an old tape recorder as you can see it is rated for 12 volt and these are the wires connecting to the uh, armature. Now you are going to connect these to the motor underscore L because the code in that website is for controlling the left motor. I will also demonstrate controlling both motors later but, but first I am going to go for the uh, left motor that's called the motor underscore L okay now you can download that code from the website now the code named L293D single motor controller Now to control the motor you can download the source code from the website. Now in, in the first case I am going to demonstrate the first file which is called the L293D single motor controller.c. I am using IAR embedded workbench so you can compile it and download the code into the MSP430 which I am doing right now. After you have download the code you can actually run it by pressing F5 as you can see the motor will run for some time and it will stop and run it in the opposite direction now the the whole process, process has been completed as you can see that this is the enabling pin I mean the LED corresponding to the enabling pin whenever the motor is running this pin will I mean this LED will light up so that now it is closed that means that it has been disabled go through the code line by line I'm going to reset this thing and I will run to the line okay now I am making PT 0.3 equal to 1 as you can see that line B1 is now high and now the motor is started you can see the logic level of 3A and 4A right here and I have already told me told you that the enable pin is high now for some delay after the delay we are stopping the motor right here and you see that the enable pin enable LED is off right now now we are going to rotate the motor in the opposite direction like this now for controlling the two motors I have connected an extra motor which is this one connected to the connected using the red wire it is connected to motor underscore R now by controlling two motors we will be using the L293D for, uh, for its full capacity now you have to use the L293D dual motor control under dot C from the zip file that you can download from my website compile the code and you can now run the code by pressing F5 the two motors will rotate in one direction first then they will stop and they will rotate again, the opposite direction again now you can see the logic levels at the A1 and B2 pins right here and this will enable the right motor and this would enable the left motor now let me reset the code and we will go to controlling the right motor pins right now
now at this stage we are going to start the right motor now you can see that right LED will glow and the right motor will rotate now in the second step we are going to start the left one like this and now the left one is started you guys you can see that two LEDs are glowing indicating that both have been enabled Now one problem here is that both of them are rotating very fast so that you will not be able to uh, identify which direction which is rotating. That you can do it by using PWM by which you can be able to control the speed so that you can at least visibly understand in which direction both the motors are rotating. Thank you for watching my tutorial and you can buy this motor control board from my website if you like. Uh, the URL for